Vitamin B7 or biotin is required for a variety of different processes in our bodies. If there is a deficiency of biotin, it will lead to a variety of signs and symptoms. In this lesson, we're going to talk about what biotin is. We're also going to talk about where we get it. And then we're also going to talk about the signs and symptoms that can occur with a biotin deficiency. So vitamin B7 or biotin is a water-soluble vitamin. Now, biotin is required for several processes. It's involved in the production of glucose through gluconeogenesis. So gluconeogenesis is where there are substrates that are converted into glucose for use in the body. Biotin is also involved in the metabolism of branched-chained amino acids, and it's also involved in the synthesis of fatty acids. Now, in the case of synthesis of fatty acids, this is going to be important with regards to the maintenance of skin, nail, and hair health. Now, where do we actually get biotin? Biotin comes from a variety of sources. Some of these include dietary sources like egg yolk, salmon, pork, oats, and wheat, mushrooms, dairy, spinach, and rice. And biotin can also come from gut microbe synthesis as well. So if there is a biotin deficiency, it's oftentimes going to be due to decreased dietary intake of biotin, decreased absorption of biotin. This can be due to a variety of gastrointestinal conditions like celiac disease. Interestingly, if a patient eats raw eggs, this can also lead to a biotin deficiency because there's a substance in raw eggs that actually reduces the absorption of biotin. And then in the case of gut microbe synthesis, if there is use of broad spectrum antibiotics, this can also eliminate gut microbes and eliminate the synthesis from gut microbes. So this can also be a factor in causing a biotin deficiency as well. So we won't get into all the causes of biotin deficiency here. If you want more information, please check out my full lesson on this topic. We're going to focus on the signs and symptoms of biotin deficiency in this lesson. So biotin deficiency can lead to a variety of signs and symptoms, and we're going to talk about those signs and symptoms and why they occur in this lesson. Let's first talk about the earlier signs of a biotin deficiency. These are going to be some of the first signs that a patient has a biotin deficiency. Some of these include hair loss. So hair loss can occur when biotin levels are significantly deficient. So if there's a significant deficiency of biotin, one of the early symptoms of that significant deficiency is hair loss. And the reason being is that biotin is important in enzyme functioning, especially in fatty acid synthesis. And more specifically, reduced biotin can reduce the growth phase of hair, which is the antigen phase. So it reduces the antigen phase of hair growth. So this is the reason why we see hair loss in biotin deficiency, because there is actually reduced growth of new hair. Another early sign of biotin deficiency is dry skin. And this is due to reduced fatty acid synthesis. We talked about biotin being involved in fatty acid synthesis. And in the case where there is actually reduced levels of biotin, this can lead to reduced fatty acid synthesis. And then because of this dry skin, there can be breaks in the skin and there can be increased risk of skin infections. So this can also be another finding in biotin deficiency, an increased risk of skin infections. Some other important signs and symptoms of a biotin deficiency that can occur early on include dermatitis. This particular type of dermatitis is important to recognize. It has a very characteristic look. It is often described as scaly in characteristic or appearance. It's erythematous, which means it's red or it's reddened in appearance. And this dermatitis or this rash occurs in particular areas. It occurs in the periorificial areas. So the periorificial areas are areas around the orifices. So this rash occurs around the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. So here is an image that can occur with a periorificial dermatitis as can be found in biotin deficiency. And then another finding with this type of dermatitis is that it may be desquamative. So it may actually slough off. So it can dry out and slough off over time as well. We can also see conjunctivitis occurring in biotin deficiency as well. So conjunctivitis, itis meaning inflammation and conjunctive referring to the conjunctiva of the eyes. So it's inflammation of the conjunctiva of the eyes. Some other important signs and symptoms that can be found in biotin deficiency later on in the presentation include paresthesias. So paresthesias are numbness and tingling sensations that often occur in the extremities. So this is something that can occur in the hands and the feet. There can be loss of motor control. This is known as ataxia. So there is an inability or reduction or loss of full control of bodily movements. This is going to occur with later or long lasting deficiencies of biotin. And then there can be decreased muscle tone. So along with the loss of motor control, there can be decreased muscle tone, there can be hypotonia. So there's decreased muscle tension. If a clinician actually does a physical examination, they'll find that the muscles are floppy. So there is hypotonia. Some other findings in biotin deficiency include lethargy, 
So having decreased or a lack of energy and feeling fatigue can occur in biotin deficiency patients. Depression can also occur as well. Depression is having a low mood. And then in some severe cases, there can even be hallucinations. So hallucinations can also occur in biotin deficiency. These hallucinations may be visual or auditory. So seeing or hearing things that are not there. In very severe, long-lasting deficiencies of biotin, there can be seizures that can occur. So again, this can occur in a severe biotin deficiency. It's more specifically going to occur in a severe biotinidase deficiency. This is a condition where a patient has a genetic problem in actually recycling their biotin. So they have a biotinidase deficiency. So this is an enzyme that helps recycle biotin. If there's a severe biotinidase deficiency, they're more likely to have seizures. So this is most often going to occur in those patients or that patient population. And then there can be developmental delay if there is a severe long-lasting biotin deficiency in children. So in children who have significantly decreased biotin levels, this can lead to a developmental delay. So if you want to learn more about other vitamin deficiencies, please check out my lessons on those topics. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. Thanks so much for watching and hope to see you next time.